Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We had a Grey Andromeda run previously and yeah, it was just awesome. And then we get a Job run. Okay, it's all about the mods right now. All about the mods. Modded characters are cropping up here, there and everywhere. And we have uh, Famine going on right now. Of course, Job as a character. Do you know what? Let's try and get you to munch this, shall we? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is going to be tough. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this out because I kind of need to get. I know you can do it. Uh, oh, oh, oh yes. Oh shit! I got hit because I got caught on it. But do you know what? That's huge for us right now. So yeah, we, this the Jerb's a pretty basic character to be honest. Essentially, it's just kind of like Judas, but the opposite, and um, where he has like high fire rate, a bit lower damage. Of course, we've just counteracted that slightly lower damage quite quickly though. Uh, with getting small rock off the bat. So that makes everything significantly easier in the early game for which is very, very nice. Okay. I think Famine is the is the one where everything drops as half of what it normally would. So, like, if we were to drop... Uh, if a full heart were to drop, we wouldn't get a full heart. Do you know what? This is unlikely to work. In fact, it's very unlikely to work, and I might even get hit. Do you know what? I was going to try and lead him all the way over to this, but I don't think you can actually determine where they move. So let's maybe not do that. And then the D7. Do you know what? D7 is actually not terrible, and we don't have an active right now, uh, apart from, obviously, our pocket active. So maybe it's a little okay. Maybe it's a bit of all right. So we can, we can do that, and then we can do it again to potentially get a bomb out of the room. Got a key. I really want a bomb for that tinted, um, tinted rock there. I know we've already got small rock. Ooh, this is a very, very bad decision on my behalf there. That was uh, just silly. But don't worry. We only lost one soul heart, which isn't bad. Oh, there's really another... This is a bit sad, a bit upsetting, this is. There's another potential use for a bomb here. Please don't steal my charges, because I really... Oh, my God. Wanted to use our book on the boss fight. Give me another key. Oh, my God. Okay, so that all of that kind of went a bit wrong there. I've got to admit. All of that kind of went a bit wrong. But I did it last time. I whimmed Matchbook into existence. I believe I can do it again. Matchbook, I am calling on you. If I don't get Matchbook, I want Mr. Dolly. They would be my top tier requests right now. Top tier requests. So let's go. Jesus Juices. Jesus Juices is, is pretty good. <laughs> I gotta say, Jesus Juice is pretty good. We did, we, uh, we're going Mega Satan here, so we can kind of go wherever we want. Uh, probably not the best idea to go down to this floor. Um, do you know what? I'm going to try this again to try and get another bomb. There you go. There you go. That's how we do it. The D7 coming in clutch. Very, very nice. We'll pop that open. Not what I wanted, but okay. Sadly, no extra bomb. Let's at least check our shop now. We've got six cent. We might be able to get something nice. Let's have a little look-see. We did at least get a nickel. Um, unfortunately, nothing else in here really piques my interest. But let's uh, let's go. Really, really good fire rate. Pretty good damage. A pretty good start for Mr. Jerb here. Excited to be playing him. And let's uh, jump on down to the downpour. Down to the downpour. I can't believe that tactic worked with the D7 in the room that had two black flies as well. Like, a very opportune moment to use it. No risk at all to ourselves. This is an interesting room. Um, maybe if we get an item out of that, that would work quite well. Let's pop our book here. So as you can see, we get a huge fire rate bonus that slowly decays. We got another bomb there as well. Jar of Honey um, is... Not good. <laughs> so we'll take this. A hey, Lusty Blood's very good. Okay, we've actually got up in a really good spot. I didn't realize, actually, the book um, the book progresses through rooms. I should be using the book a little more often, to be honest. Also, I did just lose my angel deal there, which obviously wasn't intentional. Um, but that's fine. D7 plus Lusty Blood is actually a pretty good combo here for us. So we just want to be popping the book whenever, really, don't we? Because we're going to get that fire rate bonus for... An amount of time that is good for us. Okay. I'm very sad to have lost my... Um, to have lost my... Angel deal here. I have to... Well, devil deal. I have to admit. But it could not be helped. 
Yeah, it's really nice having the lust Lusty Blood with D7 here. It's also nice for just getting extra charges too, like on our book and stuff. We can just keep stacking it up and stacking it up. We might still get the Devil Deal, you never know, but I'm, I'm going to say that it's not super likely. Okay, good. We managed to get rid of most of the problems here. You, can you fucking stop throwing so many flies at me, please? Dude, stop. He's so nearly dead as well. It's the most annoying thing about it. Okay, there you go. We got him. We did get Binky, though. Binky's rather nice. Um, And then we're just going to head off. God damn. This has been already very crazy. I love Job. I love Job. Job is a great character. He's, he's just, he's one of those characters that's like, he's pretty basic, but it plays really nicely. This is a very horrible room. Do you know what? This is a gross room that's just horrible, but... Okay. Um, I can't, I can't kill that leech. <laughs> Yeah, so that's kind of a problem. <laughs> See if I can just slide a tear through there real quick. Nope. Oh my god. Um, what's the easiest way to do this? Spawn 5.3000.1. Uh, actually, is it 0.3? Do you know what? That kind of works. I was hoping for a death card, but that works. Okay. Not even a room I need to be in. I'll take this. Speed down? Oh, my speed's already so low, though. My speed is already so low. Pop that. Crack that open. Ooh, beautiful bounty there. Beautiful bounty. You know what? We'll do this room again. Why not? Nice. Look at despair. Gotta love a little bit of despair every now and again. That was close. I'm going to blow up both of these. I think it's worth it. Getting a good amount of money for the shop is always going to be nice for us. I spore. I love I saw. I spore, I said that. I saw. With high fire rate, it's even better. Higher chance to um, fire off these tiers. Yeah, okay, just keep her going. And then she's our book again as soon as the room finishes. Now that I know it lasts through rooms, it's just something we should be popping all the time. I really don't like the idea of this room. I feel like Polties are going to spawn the moment this room's over. Okay, no, not quite, not quite. Okay. Slightly annoying room, but not too bad at all. Got to remember, we can use the mirror dimension to restock shops and stuff with uh, the D7 here. So we should probably go to the mirror dimension um, just to test that out. Although we could just end up getting some really good items that we want straight away. We'll take Black Candle. Ooh, head of the keeper. Something I haven't had in a while. So let's uh, yeah, let's let's go mirror dimension. Uh, once we've beaten this floor, I want to take out the boss first. But yeah, head of the keeper is an item that I have not had in, in some time. Right. So then we go book of despair. Do this again. This time we get a chest out of it. God damn, my speed is depressing me. That won't hit, will it? Oh, it did. Okay. Just briefly, but... So, we're going to get some extra money out of this here. Please don't get hit against these little leeches here. He's going to jump on me any moment now. Oh, wait. He's dead. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't realize my damage was obviously raising quite rapidly um, from the... Oh, my, more fire it. My, uh, my damage was raising quite rapidly from killing all the leeches. Uh, I love I love Job's visual with the rags and the little... Uh, the greed's eye just perking out there. It looks so good. Right. So, let's go back over this way. Obviously, we've got to be careful here, but I think we'll be fine. Right, so let's, uh, book a despair here. This is probably the worst room for us right now. In fact, oh my lord. Room's pretty damn risky, actually. I kind of forgot about that one for a moment. But we got it. Um, I can't remember what room's what here, so i got to be careful. Okay. I don't need 
to, um... I don't need to, uh, go into my item key room, so I'm not gonna bother. I just want the shop, really. There you go. God damn, I forget how good Head of the Keeper is. It's such a rare item, because I don't know if you can get it from any other pool. I can never remember. You might be able to get it from the normal treasure pool, but you get so many coins from it. And a golden bomb. Lovely. But yeah, we can come in here. And we can go... Boom. And we get champion belt. Members card. And a soul heart. I think this will be empty though, won't it? Yeah. Um. Okay, I couldn't leave for a moment there. And I was a little scared. One moment. Okay. Cool, let's carry on down. Okay. We are in a good spot now, I think. Let's uh, use this to try and get some more pennies. There's just one. Just the one penny. Now we can actually go and find our secret rooms. Good stuff. I am excited about this run. We have some cool prospects going on here. And the fact that we got to use the D7 in such a, such a useful way... Just so it's it's surprising. Don't normally get to do that. D7's normally one of those items that you just kind of have, and it doesn't really end up being that useful. But we've managed to make good use of it here. Oh, hello. Oh my god, the 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 double golden. We should probably um go for the bomb on these as well, just because we can. No soul heart, unfortunately. Again, same with these. More money's great, though, for uh, members' access. And you. Sadly, nothing from you. And we'll look for a second secret room as well. I do want to check our shop again here, because I think the members' card will have refreshed on this floor. That was close. I'm just going to destroy these poops real quick. Yes, we do have a members' access card here. I want, if there's nothing good in here, I'll buy the other soul hat. There is something really good in here, but it's not something we can actually obtain. I don't know, should I save my money? Maybe it's better to save my money. I'm gonna bully my donation machine again, see how much I get. Because I've got golden bombs right now. Okay, yeah, I will I will at least buy this. Puts us in a bit more safety. I did not mean to buy the key, but honestly, it's fine. I do kind of need it. <laughs> not exactly the best use of our money, though. Right. And second secret room has to be here, I think. Yeah. And that contains not much. Um, I was expecting some polties to be in here. I, I suppose I'll blow up these and see if I get like the quarter or something. Nah, nothing. Right, let's go. Down we go. Um, I could carry on this path. Yeah, do you know what? I'll go mines. I'll go mines. Why not? I think we've got a good enough build to sustain ourselves through the mines. More than good enough, actually. This build's really, really strong. Um, so we'll try our best at this. We shall try our best and get some derp items. But I just think we've got a really cool build of items so far. Nothing, nothing modded, actually. Yeah, we, we've literally not got a single modded item yet, apart from, obviously, the Book of Despair. Everything else is vanilla. It's kind of crazy. Um, we'll pop this again. Nice. Still all vanilla. It's kind of weird when that happens. But this is this is very strong. Especially with Deadeye here as well. With a fire rate we have, Deadeye is going to charge up very quickly. And obviously, it charges up to double damage. So, leads to a lot of good stuff. Got enough keys to get in here as well. Boshaka, yeah? Eh, not the greatest. I will bomb this, though. I've got plenty of money. I'm looking for, obviously, nickels for even more money. Um, if I meant plenty of bombs, by the way. I'm looking for nickels for even more money, but also, like, the coupon, I feel like, could be really good right now. I know that D7's been really good to us, so maybe don't want to get rid of it so quickly. But I honestly think we're, we're kind of past the point of it being uber useful. It's somewhat useful still, but... Um, let's pop that, pop that. Hey, the minecarts out there for these guys now. There you go. That was perfectly useful. And then, do you know what? Let's do it again. Just do, just perpetually doing this one room. Nice. 
Wait, with with like with like the uh, AAA battery or nine volt, could you in a double room that gives you two charges? Could you D seven infinitely? I've never thought of that break before. It's I mean it's it's not technically a game break, but it kind of is, right? If you're able to play one room over and over for rewards constantly, it seems really good. We'll grab that. Yeah, this is a room I do not want to be repeating. Just seems like a genuinely annoying room. We've got a ton of money again here. Take care of this bad boy. Do you know what? This is a room I can definitely do, do again. It wasn't that hard. Also, these rock piles, if you don't get near them or shoot them, they don't actually turn into rock flies. So you can, they just, the room just ends. We are a little light on HP, I must admit. Let's try this out. There you go. Yeah, we are a little light on HP. I would like a little bit more from somewhere. Another nickel there. Our shop is basically our best option right now, I think. Our shop can really provide for us. And here is said shop. Nice. Extra bomb there. So boot okay, so we do have a reroll machine here, so this is this has good potential. It's down here what matters though. Spawn a friendly dip upon picking up a coin. That's really, really good. Um That's really, really good. Like obscenely good. Do you know what? We we have to buy it. Just because of the setup we've got with Ke Ahead of the Keeper. Like, a trinket of 15 cent normally isn't great, but that's a very good deal. Now we um, we play out this and try and reroll some better items. Piggy Bank doesn't really cut it for us. I want 9 volt now. Uh, donation machines are now mum's dresses. They drop more coins. Beggars grant coins. Nah. So good active there in the uh, thingy. Hmm. That's This has certainly got some potential. I'm very tempted by deck of cards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold out though. Burger bombs doesn't quite cut it either. Neither does the jar. Damn it! Unfortunately, we didn't really get anything worthwhile there. That was a little bit of a shame. I was very tempted by deck of cards, but I, I just, I'm liking the fact that we're using the D7 right now, and I'm really enjoying it as an item. So I, I, I don't wanna. I don't want to lose that right now. But yeah, we've got a really good setup in the fact that we're going to be spawning coins all the time and they're going to be spawning dips. Dips absorb enemy shots, so I don't know if there's a limit to how many we can have at once. Doesn't seem like it, though. I wonder if we can get special dips at all. Like, does a luck penny give us a special one or something? That'd be kind of cool. I doubt that's the case, but that'd be kind of cool. Hello, hello. I love the way they spawn in as well. That's so cool. Does this doing this work? Okay, just teleports you to the last room you, that you did. I can never remember if it works on bosses or not. Yeah, this is super good. Right, and we've got 30 cent for the next floor too. Shops are still going to be our most valuable resource here. Let's head on down. <laughs> One penny stuck on a lone island. All on its lonesome. Dice room. I actually aren't even tempted by a dice room. I suppose if it was a five room... I'd, I'd definitely do it, but otherwise I'm not that interested. Even actually, do you know what? We should... That doesn't really do anything for us, actually. Uh, we should check it, because it could be one that rerolls everything on the floor. Rerolls all pickups and trinkets on the entire floor. That's exactly what we want. So now, what we do is, we need to check our shop. We want to leave as many pennies as humanly possible on the floor and reroll them all. Because the thing is, we can reroll all of these into a ton of stuff. Um, do you know what? It wasn't that hard of a room. Why not? With all this space to move around in, it's pretty easy to dodge these dudes' attacks. Nice. And pop our book of despair. Just keep popping that book. And then, 
honestly, we've got such a cool little strategy with um, with our two actives here. They kind of go hand in hand. Okay, your champion right. And then we can go boom, boom, do it all again. Providing us with a good amount of pennies. Not as many as I would have thought, I'll be honest. We haven't got a ton. The hell's this room? I do not know. I'm sure there's something, some nice little treat at the end of there for us, but for right now, I don't know what that is. Our fire is actually giving us a little bit of lag problems. Ooh, I will take the down. I will say that. I at least want that. Uh, I won't redo this room. Oop, I accidentally d 7 before I finished the room. That was stupid. That was a bit dumb. So our dips are kind of fading out now, but the liberty fuck is this. What the, what the hell is this? Dude, what, what is this? Nah. I am not on board for this room. This is too weird. That's that's just bizarre. <laughs> that's a bit too strange for me, I gotta say. Oh, fucking careful. That was all the coins. There you go. Alright, grab that. And do you know what? This is another room we can easily do this on. Oh, big troll bomb. No, thank you. We do have a red rune available to us right now as well, which could be kind of interesting. Like to maybe see what we can do with that. I think it's only these two enemies. Shouldn't have stood there. Still need more HP as well here. Okay, there's our shop. Sadly, the shop isn't going to provide for us, but at least we get our black market nonetheless. And then we'll check this out. Ooh la la. Demon beggars, blood donation machines, and confessionals have a 15% chance to not take health. So we'll definitely take this, obviously. Um, I'll bomb you. I think we're going to re-roll these. TM trainer for 97. There it is. The beautiful. The gorgeous. I think we'll take all the money in this room here. There's a luck penny as well, so glad I did that. Right. And then I guess I'll do a few more rerolls. I mean, holy light. That's pretty good. <laughs> I doubt we can afford that, though, is the problem. I don't think there's any way we can get that. Let's carry on with the rest of this floor. Find our secret rooms and such. Grab that. At least a glitched heart. And honestly, let's do this for our... I really shouldn't have fought them both at the same time, but I think we should be okay here. For the most part. Get a bucket of spare going just for that fire rate. God, my health is really not good. There you go. Got the full shebang going on here. Right, solar cane in this room, maybe. Yeah, why not? This will open up a good few doors, so why not? We might get a red room, we might not, we'll see. I'm still deciding, do I want to pick up all the money and try and get Holy Light or something? Hey, there's the Ultra. We got the Ultra, baby. Ooh, and it's a great one, too. On taking damage, chance to trigger the effect of your held card. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> The devil, that's that's fine for, for me right now. Right. 
Let's go and reroll all these pennies, shall we? Still need to find our, our regular secret room, which could be here. I don't know if it can be over tracks. It can. More money. Ooh. I'm going to try and reroll the money as well, because it could reroll into chests, which in turn gives us even more money. It's a bit of a a bit of a weird play. It might not work in our favor, but I feel like it's worth a try. So here we just got another penny. So, so we'll see that a lot of them will reroll into just pennies. Um, and we got a chest there. We got another chest here, which in turn gave us even more money. Another penny there. Oh, this is already working out very well for us here. It's already going well. Do you know what? Soul Heart. Really needed that, so I'm glad about that. Some extra bombs here. A heart. We never went into our item room. I forgot about that. Shooting Star. Gives Isaac Shooting Star shots. Shooting Star shots bounce off enemies and seek other enemies. This might be really janky and broken, but I feel like I've got to try it. I feel like it's an item that's capable of breaking the game a little bit, but hey her. Okay. Another chest. See, we're getting a lot of chests. That's kind of... Do you know what? We're getting remarkably close. Remarkably close. Get out of the way, grimaces. That worked out in our favor somehow. Bot machines and beggars uh, spawn when entering a new floor. That's kind of interesting. Not super good for us right now, though. Okay. Just a penny left here. I'm going to try bomb these. Okay, so we unfortunately did not get enough. But we can at least keep re-rolling to try and get something different. As much as I don't want to see Holy Light go. I could buy a blanket, but I don't think blanket's that worthwhile. Edgeless cube battery's pretty good. I've got to keep rolling the... Okay, red stew, there it is. That's what we want. Red stew's the good one. Big damage up for a little while here. Okay, sadly the fire rate there was not very useful. That should take you out. There you go. Ooh, I'm really liking these shooting stars. The tough twins really don't like um really don't like dips, do they? Okay, both the bombs are here. The way of these bombs spawning is a little annoying. But we're managing it. Could, what the hell? What the hell hit me then? Angel deal, here we go. Trinity Shield. Isn't so good, but I'll take it. Not the best angel deal, but it's defensive. It's pretty nice. Okay, now we return to the regular floor. We've got our Mega Satan key. We are good to go. Very good to go indeed. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite liking the shooting star business we've got going on now. Seems strong. Also, we should be destroying these fool's gold rocks whenever we can. I should have destroyed the one on the last floor as well. Gets us some dips. Money ready for the shops as well, of course. We don't really need to use the D7 all that much anymore. I mean, I'll pop it on this room just because it was an easy room, but... Not something we need to really focus on a lot, I don't think. It allows us to get more money because we're fighting more enemies. That's obviously, like, the main the main thing. Of course, two pennies has to drop on the other side of all this. I mean, I have to backtrack to get out of this room anyways, but it's still inconvenient. Also, I don't know if a bloody card can trigger the card that we're holding when we take damage if it's not in our active slot. Like, if Booker Despair's there instead, what will happen? I, I'm not quite sure. Nice. Whoa, these fires do not die when they die. Good to know. Our health has been really low this entire run. I wouldn't even say really low, but it's just lower than I'd like. It's it's lower than what I would consider an acceptable level. Off that again. Do you know what? There goes pretty good. 
Gives us positive pills as well, which is always nice. Also, it kind of allows us to keep red stew flowing a little bit better. It's not a positive pill, it's a teller pills. Heck you, game. Ooh, this is an opportunity for some good stuff. Got to always got to try that. We still don't have a great active um for the the dice thing we got going on. The electric dice. Teleport you to an abandoned planetarium. You know what? You know what? I've got to try it, don't I? Right. Keep that in my pocket for now. Don't mess with it. Leave it exactly where it is. Grab that. We still need to find our shop as well. We're missing that right now. Pop up a at despair again. Be careful with his hands. Oh, it did hit me. Well done to you. Hey, give me a soul heart, a trinket. Nice. We got really, really good money now as well. We should be able to buy some good stuff on this floor. Depending on where the shop ends up actually being. I'm really hoping we get a blood donation machine on this floor. For hopefully obvious reasons. I have plans that may or may not work the way that I want them to. This is a room with a lot of enemies. One of these annoying rooms, one of these in either corner. God damn it. Okay, nothing much from there, right? Let's go head back towards where our shop could be. Hope for an arcade blood donation machine, something like that. Because that could lead to some very interesting stuff. I think I already tried that for secret room, didn't I? Not quite sure where else it could be. I will pop this. I feel like it's a bit more worth it at the minute. When we can get benefits from hurting ourselves, it's a bit more worthwhile. Yeah, I'll keep it in my active slot just in case it, it does work the way I think it does. I'm getting hurt more than I should be though right now. Grab that. Okay, hello shop. Hello, hello. Nun's habit. Nun's habit pretty interesting for us. It's got potential. I'll see about that. I'll see. Well, what we got in here first? No reroll machine this time, unfortunately. Taking damage spawns a random charm demon enemy has a small chance of instead spawning a demon boss. Not that good for us. Not that good for us. Right. Okay. We'll take that. We'll take that. That. We'll grab that. The unknown. Please don't teleport me. Okay, it didn't. Good. Okay. I need either a lot more health or something that can hurt my red hearts. If I get that, then I can do some interesting stuff. But I don't think we have that in any capacity right now. Which is a real shame. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way that I can make this work, but I don't really think there is. I should... Let's look for secret rooms, and then we'll, we'll call it there. Probably here, right? No? Regular secret room could be in this... No, I guess it could be in that hall. It's not. It could be next to this room, though. Nope, can't be there either. Uh, could be up from here. Nope, can't be there. I swear I've checked here before. So I don't know where else it could be. Possibly to the right of this room here. Nope. I'm going to have to check it again. I feel like I definitely checked this before. But I don't know. Just... I did check it before. I am confusion. I'm not quite sure where the secret rooms are here, then. I do not know. Right, let's just leave. We're going to have to bounce. We're taking too long. 
And we'll just kind of see if it works. Essentially, obviously, what you can probably tell that I'm trying to do is Bloody Card does actually work on runes. So I want to keep Soul of Andromeda and then use it to, when I get hurt, teleport to a broken planetarium. Because I think that'd be pretty neat. <laughs> uh, we can go whichever way we want here, so we'll definitely go there. Yeah, I think that'd be really neat to be able to uh, get to some extra broken planetariums rather than just the one. Obviously, in doing what I'm doing now and saving it, I risk I run the risk of not being able to go to any, or at least um, not being able to go to one until the last floor if I hold on to it that long. But still, you know what I mean. I'm still going to try it out. I'm still going to keep it on me and see that, see if it happens when I get hit. I don't know uh, what the chances of bloody card proccing exactly is, but I know that it's reasonably high. It's not quite 50-50, I don't think, but I've had it I've had it proc a lot before, so it's not exactly rare. I really killed neither of them. Wow. Okay, we went. We came full circle in this one here. Did I got a soul heart there, and oh, no, I got an eternal heart. Nice. Keep on going this way. Oh wow, that was kind of tricky. These shooting stars are popping off. They're just bouncing around. It's kind of like having angry te angry tears a little bit. Sadly, shops are now a thing of the past, so we're not going to get much use out of uh, our black market doors, whatever they're called. Or head of the keeper, for that matter. Unfortunately, they've become a little obsolete on this run, but never mind. Okay, we've got some of these guys. These guys are the fast charging ones, right? As long as we know that, we'll be fine. Mm, I said fine, and then immediately get hit. Did not trigger Soul of Andromeda yet, though. Ooh, there's another Eternal Heart, though. That's a complete one that we have. It's a little, it's always a little bit of a shame when you find two on one floor like that, because you haven't really achieved anything. Okay. This guy should go down pretty quick. We'll probably get hit at least once on this dude, just because of a spike attack and we'd have a flight. But we killed him quicker than I thought, so... Get an Angel Deal here as well. So speed up. Oh my lord, the speed up. It's so needed. Um, immaculate Heart just seems like the way to go. Breaking Rocks has a chance to drop hearts. I mean, let's let's at least grab this like this and uh, see if we get any hearts out of this. Nope. <laughs> there was another trinket in here somewhere, but it's gone. What the hell's it got out of here? I don't think this does anything when it's um, golden, so unfortunately that's not really worth much to us. Anyhow... I'm pretty happy with Immaculate Heart and um, a Speed Up. Both of them are pretty integral right now. Let's check this out. So here's the Blood Donation Machine that I kind of wanted here. Although now it's going to be taking a whole heart from us. So we need to play this right. So getting hearts out of this dude first would be good. That's very good. That's, that's like the best thing we could have wished for. Oh wait, 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 wait. We have Virgo. That's not what I wanted. I want to actually take damage here. The invincibility is nice, but it's not what I'm looking for right now. Is, is, is it not going to proc even once? Come on now, game. Oh, come on. It's just mean. Proc once at least. Don't be so unfair. We're just looking for more hearts from you, buddy. God damn, love this arcade music. Look at all the shit all over the floor. You traipsed shit all over my carpet. Get the fuck out of my shop. There's shit everywhere. Why would you bring a bunch of sentient poops into my place of business? Oh, come on now. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, really? Come on, he's gonna get, you watch, he's gonna fucking pay out with Skatol and fuck off. I really can't believe it's not proxy from once. There you go. We got it. Unfortunately, not the best payout we could have hoped for, but we got it at least once. No, do you know what? Cracker Jacks is pretty good. Cracker Jacks is pretty good. Now, the question is, if we teleport there again, is it a new one? I feel like I have to find out. <laughs> Oh, we've, we've unpooped his carpet, though. Although we're uh, traipsing it back through again. 
God damn, love this music. Pay it with some hearts, god damn. Three school Monty boy. Oh, there you go. Okay, now now let's just uh, wail on this thing with our in invincibility. Oh, we... we got invincibility back for a short amount there. I have overplayed, overstepped my boundaries a little bit here though. But don't worry. More hearts inbound from this boy. Oh, come on. He just keeps paying out with hearts. It's great. God damn. We have literally covered this man's carpet in so much fecal matter. It's... It's kind of insane how much there is. Right, come on now. You give me pennies to pay you back, I guess, but... How... I swear we've ended up with more money from playing this blood donation machine. I'm surprised. This guy just will not leave. It's kind of good, really, but I'm surprised. I, unfortunately, I don't think we can speed play this guy. Like, we ca I actually got hurt by that fly. That's why you don't stand right next to him like that, you idiot. But the dips do all the work. Goddamn, this is exhilarating entertainment right here. But, at the same time... I'm thoroughly enjoying just vibing out to these tunes right now. Come on, give me a blood bag. There it is. There it is. I Basically, I really wanted the, the blood bag. because uh, the, the IV bag so that we could try and play Solo of Andromeda a little more. Or the blood bag for the speed upgrade. Either one of them, I really desperately wanted one or the other. A little bit tough here. But yeah, we, we, we got Soul of Andromeda to the proc at least once. Sadly, it didn't proc that, like, that often. It was pretty rare, in fact. But we got one proc out of it, which makes me happy. I think that proves something, proves that it works. But I'd like to see if it generates the same one each floor, or if upon using multiple on one floor, it generates a new one. That's kind of my next big test case. Ow. Okay, we're out of soul hearts now. Let's be careful. That is a one room that I am not at all interested in. I've got a very cool build here that I'm very much enjoying. Drop me a card, buddy. Hey, that's more than one card as well. Hello. Ah, just a strength though. I don't know why I decided to come in here. I definitely immediately regret it upon seeing what enemies that is. Come on, my poopy friends. Come with me. I got very confused then, because my dips destroyed the other eye immediately. There you go. With the fire rate boost, we just annihilate. It's great. Got this glowing aura of everything around us. Hey! Even get a bit of eternal heart from the boss kill itself. So yeah, we'll see if we can get another blood bank on this floor. Maybe an IV bag. Maybe some other way to hurt ourselves on red hearts. I don't know. It depends how much health we end up getting. What the hell card is that? That is a new one to me. One thing I will say that's... It's a little annoying, but also, like, kind of good. Um, Someone's friendly monster, like the one found by... Oh, cool. Um, Yeah. It's one of the things that's kind of annoying, but also kind of cool. The the sheer amount of um, of new cards and stuff that get added by mods... I feel like there is some cards from mods that I have literally never seen. Like, one of the ones that's, that's a prime example that I can think of off the top of my head. I hate this, by the way. Uh, prime example I can think of off the top of my head is um, the the card from the sewer collection. Here's another one that I've never seen. What the hell? Um, 
The, yeah, prime example is the card from the sewer collection, the one that adds the mirrored items. There's a, a mirror card that turns everything into the room into a mirrored item. I've never seen that card show up even once. And I don't think it's a case of it being so rare. I think it's a case of literally, I'm, I'm, I've got so many. God, dude, this this uh, this dude needs to die because this, this marked icon is confusing the shit out of me. Please die. There you go. Um... Yeah, it's the fact that there's so many modded cards that I just don't get to see it. Also, I've just not taken damage there. Alright, get some dips in here to help me out. We should be okay with a Trinity Shield, I think. We can kind of just absorb the shots that are coming in face on. For the most part, at least while spawning dips to help us out. Get in there and get those dips going. Did I get hit there? I think I did. That was a stupid hit by me there, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, nice. Okay, this should, th these four items should help a lot. I don't think we need the help so much, but we'll see. Ooh, Flyboy? Okay. Okay. Okay, game. Okay, calm down. Right, I don't think we take Tech X, because it kind of ruins our fire rate thing. I definitely think we take Parasitoid. I don't think Abundance matters at all. Now we're going... We got good luck. Actually, we don't have that good luck. I thought we had good luck. Must, must have been last run I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, we, we, we'll uh, clear out the floor and see what we can get going on for the rest of this floor. Parasitoid tears, by the way. Gonna be very potent. But yeah, we kinda wanna try and get to full red HP before we attempt Mega Satan, if plausible. I don't know how plausible that's gonna be. But the fact that we can clear rooms so very quickly should make it at least decently likely. Also, I should probably pop Soul of Andromeda at this point now, because I don't want to be teleported out of the Mega Satan fight, so let's just pop it. Hanged Man, Devil, and the Devil. Okay, unfortunately, that's kind of crap. I will take this, though. Get rid of them, boys. Hey, first item. And it's Baby, Baby, Baby. Gotta love Baby, Baby, Baby. It's a baby, followed by a baby, followed by a baby. Followed by a baby. Oh, I really, on easy rooms, I really should be using the D7 here as well. Rooms like this where we can get double rewards. We can pop that and then do that for uh, another chance at a chest. Makes perfect sense, really, doesn't it? There you go. It worked out. And we got the saw blades. I feel like I always get the saw blades when I get to this level of the game. And it's always really broken. It's always unbelievably good. Everything is dead now. Dead now. <laughs> a chest, please, for my for my efforts. Damn you, game. My god. The saw blades are nuts. There's a chest. Baby Pluto. I like him. He's cute. Orbiting around your heart. Nice. Got different levels of different orbital tiers going around us right now. Brittle Burns. That is a big no thank you. I will, however, do this and this. This, is, this was a fairly easy room. Sadly, just this bloody thing going around. If we get a rainbow heart, remind me. <laughs> Don't know how you do that, but remind me. And then I'll pick up Brittle Burns and go back and grab that. But we need a rainbow heart to make it work, really. Ah, oh, ha, 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 ha. This room is gross. This room, with bouncy shots and stuff, this room, that hit me? What? You see, just gross. Right, carry on. 
Whoa, the spiders are just doing insane damage. Just insane damage. Oh, hello. Can sacks ever give you HP? I don't actually know if they can. Well, this is kind of an interesting room, this. I, I like this room a lot. That's a very interesting design for a room there. Having those flies that fly in a circle fly around a bishop that is protecting them. I like that. Oh my lord. I feel like one of these guys is going to brimstone me anytime now and it's going to hit me. We got lucky. Keep her going. The saw blades. They're too good. Oh, half a heart there. Don't mind if I diggity do. Right, I think this will be the last room we have a chance to get ourselves an item. Oh, no, not quite the last. Ooh, this is a, a monstrous room and a half, this. Got one of these healer, healer champions over there as well. Is that everything? Is that all, folks? One more room. More than one room. God damn, it just, keep, just keeps going. Every time I think it's going to be over, there's another room. This is the last room. There you go. A very red room. Last item. Come on. Yay. Yay. I don't even know how this is going to work. Do you know what? What does what does Tech X plus C section do? Uh, Isaac C section. Um. Let's have a look. Tech X. The laser ring from the fetus with explosive effect create exploding tears for each damage tick. The explosive. Rings. Wait, what? That's not Tech X. Um. I think it works. Tech X fetus, uh, fetuses are surrounded by a laser ring. Okay, that seems that seems like it works. Very much seems like it works. Let's try this out, shall we? Works quite well. <laughs> Seemingly works quite well. And pop that card. Oh my lord. Okay, so that's for one a lot of money that could easily crash our game. But for two, this is just insane damage. Holy hell. My goodness. I was not expecting it to be this effective. I don't think anyone was expecting it to be this effective. Look at that! It just like hard hits his damage cap immediately. My god. I don't know if it's the saw blades that is making it do this, but either way, it's pretty good. Hey, the dip army. The dip army arrives. You, you'll be dead in, in like 10 seconds, dude. Or, or less. My god, the amount of money it's spawning is hilarious. I don't know how I'm dodging right now, by the way. I think Trinity Shield is keeping me alive for the most part. Beautiful. Come on, my dippy friends. There you go. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. What a mad one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.